Hey everybody, I am Kina Craze and I'm back with another video for y'all today. <laughs> hey y'all, hey y'all, how y'all been doing? Yes y'all, this is my Sunday dinner. Yes y'all, but first, y'all know them regulars. If this is your very first time here, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And again y'all, are y'all ready? Are y'all hungry? I am. Let's eat. <laughs> what I got today. I have Sharice's homemade pulled pork. Yes, y'all. I have a friend named Sharice. She made this pulled pork for me. It took her about two, three days to make it because she makes hers from scratch. Yes, y'all. Um, so I have cookout vibes, you know, barbecue. I have my homemade baked beans that I made. They're not homemade per se, but you know, I put my own little stuff in them. And I'm going to talk to y'all about this in a few seconds. So don't judge me. And I also got me some Lay's chips here, y'all. And they're the, like, less sodium. So I'm going to try them because I do try to avoid sodium as much as possible. Because I do like sodium. <laughs> I do like salt. So y'all look. So. This is Food Lions potato salad. So don't judge me. Wait, wait, wait. Don't hit me. Listen, wait. Let me explain. So, me, I am picky about potato salad, as we all are. I'm a big, um, I'm a big con convenience type person, so I like to, if it's good and it's convenient, I'll buy it. If it's not good, I know how to cook, so I, would not, I, would, I wouldn't buy it again. I have had this a million times. This is Food Lions Potato Salad. It's called American Potato Salad. American style potato salad, y'all. I've had it before. It is good. This is a life hack. I, and I know, I, I, I can hear you. I, I know what you're saying. You're saying you can't eat everybody's potato salad. It's a store brand. I wouldn't eat it if I didn't believe in it. This right here is their coleslaw. It is, it tastes just like KFC's coleslaw, believe it or not. Y'all probably been sleeping on it because you, oh, it, it's at a grocery store. No, it tastes just like KFC's coleslaw. It does, just like it. I, I would not tell you to buy it if I have not eaten it over and over and over again. So, y'all, I'm going to put me a little bit. I got me some mustard. Y'all know to shake your mustard up before you put it on your sandwich or you're going to ruin your life. You're going to ruin your life if you don't shake your mustard up first. And I'm going to put me some hot sauce on it. Yes, I am. Yes, y'all. I got some, y'all. Oh, let me tell you. Today is Sunday. I have allergies. I don't have any glasses today. I have them for them. They, they made it all week. They did. And they were like the clusters. I went to a shop and got them done. But still, I have allergies and my eyes itch so badly. And I had to just give my eyes a break, so... This is natural Sunday for me, so laid back Sunday, relaxing Sunday, um, barbecue Sunday. It's all this type of Sunday for me, and I'm going to enjoy I hope y'all don't mind me and my natural hue, but I have lashes back soon. I may not have them for the rest of the week, but I'm thinking about um, I have an appointment Friday to get some individual minks, so I'm going to give my eyes a break, if that's okay with y'all. If that's not okay, let me know. If y'all don't want to see me like this. Anyway, let me see my face. Oh, Amen. Yeah, I'm so ready to eat this.
These are fifty percent less sodium. So I do have me a cold ice drink, but um, this pulled pork is really sweet. It's really good with the heat and the mustard on there. So I just drink a water. And if I want something else, I drink that ice drink. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Y'all, I had got this right here to try because I never tried it before. I was going to put it on my pool port. But I don't need it. I don't need it. Thank you, Sharif. She made me a big pan. My family don't like peppers and onions and stuff in their food. I still cook it in there. But real fine, because how else you going to season your food, duh? So, I just made me a little small pot of baked beans. I just added me some big bell peppers in it. Mm-hmm. So, if y'all hear that crunch, when I eat these peppers, it's because I'm eating peppers in my own. Um, it's good, too. And another thing too, these um, baked beans, I mean these chips, are good to be 50% less sodium, y'all. So you can still taste the salt. You can still taste the salt. Y'all, these hamburger buns I have are the ballpark hamburger buns. The ballpark hamburger buns, but um, they have the um on the bag it said buttery, and it had that, that honey symbol right. It had some honey on it because I could not find. I couldn't find, or is my eyes playing tricks on me? Or does Hawaiian Rose have a hamburger bun? I could have sworn I seen that Hawaiian Rose had a hamburger bun. Hmm. I was looking for it. I was looking for them. Couldn't find them. So, This is a good Sunday dinner. <laughs> Excuse me. Y'all. When I got up this morning, I had to go get Luna a ride home. And it's like 
40 minutes from here. And I did it. I'm so, I feel so good today. I got up. You know, started doing some different things I needed to be done. Handle some business. Pack up, package some orders off. Um, I already had my pool port because my friend made it for me. So I already had it since the day before yesterday. She gave it to me Friday. And I knew I was going to eat it for Sunday dinner. And I went and got my sides. Now, I'm the only one eating the potato salad and eating the coleslaw. But my family is eating baked beans, you know, without the onion and bell peppers. And they're eating, you know, that and they have their own chips and stuff. I think they're eating sour cream onion chips and baked beans. I got this morning and took two Benadryl. <laughs> I knew I was going to be home. Well, as I took it, I knew I was going to be home the rest of the day. And then it was cold this morning. I was freezing. Now, this is a pulled pork. Look at that. She told me when I got it, she said it looked like hash. She was like, I promise you it's pulled pork. I said, honey, it could have been hash. I love hash, too. Mm, it's this blade. I have tasted a lot of hash. And it's this one lady. Can't nobody make it like her, boy. I cannot wait. She said when her husband starts, um, I think when he gets some time off, he's going to make some more y'all. Oh, I can't wait. They most of the time have it like in the summer, like around the 4th of July. What y'all eat for dinner? Put it in the comments. It was a pretty day here in South Carolina, honey. Um, the part I, I'm in, it's a beautiful day. It is. Sure is. And um, I said, well, because I was going to make some mac and cheese. I was going to make a homemade potato salad, you know some green beans but i was like let's have you know like a barbecue cookout type of day without the actual cookout now i would have loved to have some barbecue you know sausages and winnies and but yeah let me tell y'all this i was on instagram let me read this so jay-z maverick carter Meek Mill, Lil baby and the, the um the and the Emilio family are new owners of Mitchell and Ness. The deal was valued at $250 million. Mitchell and Ness is a real big jersey, like, um, like a, I say, how starter used to be. They had all the jerseys and the baseball caps and, you know, all the teams and stuff on it. That's what they are, y'all. Jay-Z got another notch under his belt. And little baby, them y'all, they making history. This this company makes billions of dollars a year. That's what's up. Right. That's really what's up. That's all you can say. Ain't nothing else I can say. That's extraordinary. 
Gotta push up. So y'all don't say all that. Mm. Potato salad. See, I'm eating all of it. I'm eating it. Nobody gonna eat but me. It took me. So I was. So I was. I've always been able to eat potato salad. But just a little bit of it. Still to this day, I can't eat a lot of it. It took me a long time to start eating it. But my grandma always fixed it, so I would eat it. I remember eating it with meatloaf uh, sometimes. Um, all cookouts. <clears throat> but I'm not a fan of mayo. I eat very little mayonnaise on everything, so potato salad is made with mayo. That's why I can't eat a lot of it. And I can only, I can't eat everybody's and I can't eat all kinds. And sometimes I might can't eat your potato salad today and I might not eat it tomorrow just because I'm just not a real big fan of it. But when I'm eating barbecue, if I eat baked beans, I want to have potato salad, coleslaw, macaroni salad, something like that. And I just want, want to eat a little bit of it, of each, because it blends so well. The flavors are so good together, but I just can't eat a lot of it, if that makes sense. But chips always offsets everything with me in barbecue food. No matter what I got, if it's a barbecue flame broiled or something, I can eat chips with it, all of it. And it sets it off, so I'll mostly be eating most of the chips, but I also dip into the sides here and there. Okay, y'all. Y'all know what today is? I'm not sure what the date is, but I know it's Sunday. <laughs> and I know it's still February. And guess what we do for every day for the month of February? We give somebody who is living, doing well, has been entertaining us for 10 years plus, 20 years plus consistently that's what they're doing entertaining us and we love these people y'all so today i'm gonna give honor to one of my favorite female comedians miss wanda sykes <laughs> yes y'all wanda sykes y'all know wanda sykes Y'all, before I get to reading off stuff, let me tell you something. Wanda Sykes. <laughs> Wanda Sykes played in one of the funniest movies. Oh my God. Pootie Tang. Wanda Sykes was big and shorty. <laughs> Wanda Sykes was big and shorty. Y'all don't remember that? Sign your pity on the running time. <laughs> Oh my God, y'all know what the site was funny as hell back in the day. Hold on, wait, okay, y'all. So she is 57 years old. Anyway, back to what I was saying. One of the sites played in one of my favorite TV shows. I don't know if y'all have seen it or not, y'all. This is the type of comedy I love. I love to watch shows like Reba, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, Last Man Standing. I know, I like stuff like that. So, she played in The New Adventures of Old Christine. So, Christine, this was the Christine that came off of um, Seinfeld. 
it was that Christine. So it came on. Now it comes on TV Land late at night because I still record it on my DVR. Oh, did I? I know my last DVR I did. I got to start back recording because I know she still come on, y'all. When I tell you, one of the sites is so funny. Her name is Barb on that show. But let me read off some of her accolades, y'all. So she won an Emmy for that. She won an Emmy for old Christine. And she went to Hampton University. I told y'all all the greats either come from Clark, Atlanta, Hampton University, y'all. HBCUs. Stand up. I'm going to show y'all this too. One of my favorite shows too. I'm ready for it to come back out. She's starring in a Netflix original called The Upshaws with Mike Epps and um, Y'all, what's her name? Kim Fields. I was gonna say Regine. <laughs> y'all would really know who I if I would have said Regine, y'all would have known who I was talking about, right? I knew it. I was little single. Sharice. This is so good. But yeah, y'all. And she also wrote the um wrote the Chris Rock show. She was a writer on the Chris Rock show. She's been around a long time. Let's give her her flowers. Let us know. Let us know. We are proud of you. We're here for it all. We're here for your whole career. See y'all. I, I took two Benadryl, so sorry. Stuff get the itch and I can't help it. Now, y'all, today our honorable mention goes to Natalie Cole. <laughs> Natalie Cole was 65 when she passed away. Her dad was Nat King Cole, y'all. Um, I remember the, t the show Taxi, the TV show. Not the one from the old days, but the one with Queen Latifah and I for Jimmy. I forgot his name. The guy that was in Taxi. And they were singing, this will be. I'm sorry, I'm a horse. My voice comes and goes. But this will be an everlasting love. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. That's the song I'm talking about. That's the Nat Natalie. Natalie Cole, that was her song. Um, her biggest album success was Unforgettable with Love. That's the song her dad made. Her dad was not the originator of the song, but his rendition of it was awesome. And people still dance at it during weddings. And it's just a very romantic song. And it's a very popular song. That was one of his biggest songs. That's also one of her biggest songs. She sold over 30 million worldwide. She won a, um, seven Grammy Awards for the song. Um, well, she won three of them for the song, but she also won seven Grammy, Grammy Awards total. Um, Nat, Natalie Cole was definitely a very pretty lady. Oh my gosh. I remember watching her on Soul Train and all different type of shows when we were young. She was a very pretty lady. She had blue eyes, if I'm not mistaken. I think this, this lady did have blue eyes. I just always thought she was so pretty. And she was very, very talented, y'all. She passed away, sadly. But she will forever, forever be remembered. And we're going to keep her music alive. And we just want her to know in heaven that you will be missed and we have not forgotten about you. You paved the way for a lot of us. But yeah, y'all, we are on the road to 500, guys. Um, 
let's get 500 by the end of the week. So make sure y'all tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that we over here getting it in. I'm so glad y'all had dinner with me. I'm so glad. Like I say, y'all, I'm going to get my eyelashes done soon, but bear with me. I can't help it. I'm sorry. Sorry. But what I want you to do is whatever it is that you want to do, whatever it is that you want to say, wherever it is you want to go, I want you to do all the above because you only have one life to live, and let's start living it right this year. Um, it's been hard for me to be kind of carefree and to just not, you know, not over overdo it in people's lives, you know. Um, know that you don't always have to be the aggressor. You don't always have to be the one saying hi. But, you know, so make sure you just know your role, honey, and... It's still okay to say hi, but it's okay. You know, the phone works both ways. You know, we all pretty much have a car. We can all go visit. So let's just keep that in mind, guys. Um, Just be you authentically, be your authentic self, and don't care what people have to say. Because the ones that mind, they don't matter. And the ones that matter, they don't mind. Thank y'all. Stay crispy and crunchy. On the way to 500, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.